Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cuphead. And today I'm here for one purpose. I'm just here to show you that, uh, all the hype around this game about how hard it is. Yeah, that's all, that's all just marketing. Okay, this game is easy. I'm gonna show you. Here we go. Oh, okay, okay, he got me. He got me there, a little bit. Ah. Ah, so you shoot the ducks and, and and then you can go through them. I get it. Oh. Cuphead's development started in 2010 by brothers Chad and Jared Moldenhauer. Moldenhauer? I don't know. And it was originally shown off at Microsoft's E3 press conference in 2014. And because of its very distinct art style and presentation, it gained a lot of public interest. Now, originally, it was slated for release in 2015, but then... It was delayed to 2016, and then 2017. But now it's here, so let's end up with this background information and talk about the actual game. And now one of the reasons this game took so long was the animation. Each and every frame is drawn and then inked and then digitally remastered by hand. Cuphead takes massive inspiration from 1930s animation, which was around the beginning of the golden age of American animation, which birthed obscure characters such as Mickey Mouse, Bugs Bunny, Popeye, Tom and Jerry, and Betty Boop. You may have heard of a couple of them before. And I mean it when I say that every frame of this game is a work of art. It's so meticulous in staying faithful to the source material that all of it is visually fantastic. Every boss, every enemy, everything just has so much character and life to it. And then there's a soundtrack and whoo, damn this soundtrack is good. Holy shit. Composed by Christopher Madigan, the soundtrack is just banger after banger. Nearly three hours worth of soundtrack, complementing the visuals and gameplay perfectly. Now, let's talk about that gameplay. It's pretty obvious that this uh this roller coaster is it's rigged. It's rigged. So let's uh let's move on to another one over here. Um, let's just pop in here and let's uh let's show you how easy Cuphead really is. <laughs> And the hat comes out of the sky. Okay. Okay. What smug son of a bitch, aren't you? So this game is pretty hard, which isn't too big of a deal in and of itself. But in a debacle with this video game journalist, who maybe wasn't the best at the game. Just maybe. It's gotten a lot of people talking about the difficulty of this game, and it's allowed for quite a good meme. You gotta jump up there, I think. It says dash, you probably yeah. just go around it. Oh. Wait, can I have the controller for a second? Okay. I think you're supposed to dash into it to knock it over. Oh my god, do you think there's more cylinders after this? I guarantee you there's more cylinders after this. <laughs> And here we arrive at the namesake of this video, the difficulty. There seems to be a fair bit of debate about this right now, and I'm just going to give my two cents on it. And right now, every hard game, or every game that, that doesn't hold your hand, is likened to Dark Souls, a game notorious for its brutal and unforgiving difficulty. And now obviously there isn't much intrinsically similar about these games, and in my limited experience, the Dark Souls games are much harder than Cuphead, or or Crash Bandicoot. And while they aren't intrinsically similar, the common thread between them is that they don't hold the player's hand that much. And now what makes Cuphead and games like it so great is that mechanically they're simple, anyone can pick them up and play them, but it requires something of the player, rather than just quick time events or 
looking at a cool spectacle that I see in a lot of single player games. And even moving beyond video games, it teaches you persistence and that if you really stick with something, you can beat it and you can overcome something, which is way more valuable than just looking at something cool, because at that point, why don't you just watch a movie? And now I completely understand if a game is something that you just want to pick up and have it be therapeutic for you, but I feel like a lot of people might misunderstand what this kind of philosophy in a game is aiming for. So that is what I love about Cuphead. It has difficulty and it doesn't have hand-holding to too much of a degree. And yeah, it's hard. It'll knock you on your ass time and time again. But damn, does it have the art and soundtrack to make you want to move forward. And after you beat that boss that you've been working so hard to beat, it feels so rewarding. It feels incredible. And that is why I love Cuphead. There we go. Easy, easy does it, easy does it, easy does it. There you go! Boom! Yep, yep. There you go. Damn right. Let's see what's up here. Through all your battles and all my rhymes, you have failed and perished 129 times. Yeah? Yeah, do you feel happy now? Do you feel better about yourself? Yeah? Yeah, I hope so. Loser hanging out in a, a pond. You know, what a prick.